All right, welcome to the next level. Got my man Elvir Bogdanovich. 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 Yeah. Was that good? That's close. I'll close give it enough. To you, You're yeah. not just lying because we're recording. Yeah, I like you. It's okay. <laughs> oh, you like me? Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm trying, dude. I'm trying. <laughs> I can tell. All right. Yeah, I don't like messing you up don't people. Quit. Do. No, I don't. <laughs> I'm gonna get it sooner or later. <laughs> okay. I mean, I could just call you Elvis, like your clients, yeah. right? I've been called worse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Elvir. So. Yep. You, you said this when we were doing our True Talk. If you've not seen the True Talk, please go check that out. Great, great um, podcast. But you talked about this kind of switch you made when you went telesales. And because you, you were in home, you started selling telesales, struggled for three months, right? And then had this kind of idea of like, let me just go and ask them what they want to buy life insurance. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like you know, hey, what a shocker, right? I'm yeah. selling, let me just ask them. So talk to me about like when you came up with that and then the first time you actually tried it. Yeah. Um, it was kind of a fluke, right? I, mean, I would use all these different scripts and all these different things yeah. that we have and hey, I'm calling you, you know, for your property, blah, blah, blah. And then all these, as I said, I was tired one night yeah. and I was like three months into it. I called this one lead. I was, I was tired. And I said, Hey, my name is Elvis. I'm calling you regarding your lender bank of america running mortgage protection They're yeah. like yeah 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 i was like hey uh you probably got some letters in the mail about mortgage protection are you interested in that <laughs> and the guy was like actually yeah man i yeah. just filled one out <laughs> and and it just clicked yeah right it was i was not a telemarketer it was just straight to the point yeah. like i was talking to you like a known person and i was just being a human mm -hmm. right and from that point on, it just, it was a game changer for me. Yeah. So what do you ask them now? Hey, you want some life insurance? Some life insurance. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm like, hey, I'm your life, I'm your local life insurance consultant. How yeah. you doing? And I'm like, yeah, I'm doing good. How can I help you? Hey man, you were, you were looking at some life insurance before? Yeah. I don't know when, maybe they were, maybe they weren't. I have no idea. What's the response you normally get? Yeah. Everybody yeah. was looking at exactly. life insurance <laughs> at one point, right? Right. And, and they're like, yeah. I was like, was that taken care of? Is that something you're still interested in? And they're like, yeah. Yeah. I just, all right, well, do you have some time now or should I reschedule you? No script. I don't have anything. To just very about. like non Just conversation. Kind of, yeah, yeah, just go with the flow. Um, if they say no, I'm not looking for it. What do you do? Well, have a nice day. Just leave it at that. Yeah. You're, not, you're not trying, oh, it's my rebuttal. Just Now, why? why? Why do you have that mentality? Take a guess. Because you have a lot of leads. No, because, well, yeah, I have a lot of leads, yeah. but I don't want chargebacks. There you go. Part two. Yeah. yeah. But I guess you, but you have to have a, like, if you have five leads, it's oh, like, dude, oh, you better make it work. <laughs> right. We better make it. Yeah. But you got, you got a ton of leads. Yeah. You're not afraid to buy leads, mm -hmm. but also, like you said, you're not trying to convince someone that may not be interested. Yeah. I'm not, I'm the, the thing I learned, I can't put something in other people's heart that God hasn't put in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't want to take care of your family, dude, there's nothing I can do. Right. right? Uh, biggest story I could tell you is I was in a house one day and I always tell this to my agent I was in a house one day guy was a truck driver smoker wife was at home with three kids didn't work yeah and we're sitting there and the guy was a very analytical guy and wanted to see numbers talk to other people and I was like hey you guys talk about it. I gotta use the restroom right the typical thing mm -hmm. right you guys think about these numbers. I go to the restroom. I come back. I'm like, so which one do you want, guys want to go with? And they're still talking. And the wife looks at me. She's like, can you convince him to buy something? <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, if you're sleeping with him, what makes you think <laughs> right, I can yeah, convince yeah. him? <laughs> he just met me. Yeah. <laughs> and you can't even convince him. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. Yeah. And I sure not, I didn't make that sale. But to me, it was like this learning lesson where his wife couldn't convince him. What can I say? Correct. There's nothing I can say. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so uh, to me, I, I can't convince people. The people that I did convince ended up being a chargeback. Got it. So you learn from that. Want to make sure you're right. Good quality business. Mm -hmm. It was funny you say that. I don't know why you're telling that story. It reminds me of an appointment I had. This is, it was an in-home and I had convinced them, right? And um, I had the application signed. They gave me a lot of pushback with the whole voided check. <laughs> and that's how you knew, like, dude, they don't want it. Like, well, why do you need that? What? So... Um, and it wasn't like, I wasn't brand new where I screwed up the, like I, I did everything I was supposed to do. I knew they weren't really into it. They gave me the check and I got up to use the bathroom. Right. I, um, and this is my last appointment. I had probably 10 apps in my bag already. 
So use the bathroom, come back out, grab the app, leave, drive to the office. This is when me and Sean used to meet at the office at like midnight to scrub apps. This is old school. So like this is, there weren't any apps, bro. They were all paper. So make we sure had to all go. Oh yeah, were there. Sure all signature. Make sure we filled <laughs> up. So we're scrubbing apps, and I'm like, I get to this app, and I'm like, dude, where's the check? Like, bro, you you see. We had all kinds of checks, dude. He had like 15, 20 apps. I had like 10, 12 apps. You didn't like, have the body bags of checks, did you? No, no, not the body bags. <laughs> they, we would just stick them in the app, like paperclip them, right? Okay. And I'm like, dude, paperclip's gone. It was it was a mutual app. Back then, they were like a book, right? You mm-hmm. tore out the pages. I'm looking I'm looking through my bag. I'm like, Sean, is there a check over there? He's like, no, dude, you don't have the check. And I'm like, when I got up to use the bathroom, they went in my app and pulled the check out. Mm. But it was like, I should have known, you right. know what I mean? Like, so I'm going through all this. Now, if I would have had the check, it would have been a chargeback. Now, some chargebacks are going to happen, right? But we do want to eliminate as many as possible. I was teaching about this the other day. Dude, there's, you know when a chargeback is coming. Correct. Okay, like, you, you're going to wake up to an email and you're like, yeah, yep. I saw that one coming. <laughs> yep, yep. You know? Dude, we used like, to, you're not surprised. I used to dread money. Now, this is back, like, I'm talking pre-doing it the right way. I used to dread Monday mornings because we would mm-hmm. run Saturday, Sunday. Mm-hmm. 20, 30 appointments over the weekend, come back and, you know, 20, 30 apps, yeah. right? Send them all out. Do Monday morning, your phone's ringing. Could you not send that? Could you not? <laughs> <laughs> but I knew it was stuff I was doing yeah. wrong, right? So then, you know, it's kind of like you, same thing with you. You realize what you were doing wrong, and then you switched it up. And I, I would assume it's been great since. Yeah, it's been good. I mean, it just takes more work. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not scared of work. Right. And it takes more leads. Yeah. So, I mean, in general, remote takes leads. Sure. Leads, right. So I, I always said that the time that we had window driving time, that's the extra time we, we need to invest in, in um, doing remote mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying i yep. mean we had like six seven hours of window driving you correct know what i'm saying yep but now you got to take that and in order to supplement those extra six hours you need more leads yeah and now you're running 15 20 appointments a day 50 percent no shows you get two or three apps a day mm. that's kind of what it is back in the day you have 10 appointments yeah. seven you know three no show you get two or three apps so you kind of see the math you know yep. what i'm saying and when I get an agent calling me saying I had all no shows today, I'm like, good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What's tomorrow look like? Right. You yeah. know? Yeah. It's over. Nothing you can do about it now. Yeah. Um, does it matter to you what type of lead? Nah, I don't matter to mom. Really? It's all life insurance. Got it. <laughs> there. Somebody dies. Somebody's going to get money. Right. Yeah. It's all that works. Yeah. Now why I'm like, partly shocked is there's a lot of people I know do that, you know, there's, they only, I can only do this lead. You know, I saw someone the other day, I went to the CRN and they didn't have any of these ones left. I'm like, well, but they had some others, right? Like, why, why does it matter? Cause your point, it's someone looking, but it's a, it's a mindset. It's all perspective. Cause if you look at it, like I can only sell this type of lead, you can only sell the type of lead. Yeah. What's your mindset when it comes to leads? Somebody's looking for life insurance. Regardless of what it is, whether it's a phone call, it's just, internet. We just coin it differently. Final yeah. expense, a life lead, a mortgage. But it's just coined different yeah. just so we have different markets, right? right. Um, but at the, end, at, the, at the end of the day, <clears throat> the concept is somebody has to die mm-hmm. to get money. That's that's it. Right. There's nothing else there. Correct. So yeah. how can I solve that problem for them? Yep. There, it's, I, there's a lot of people that if you can just <laughs> switch this. Oh, it would take I off. Just, I want to open it up, yeah. pour it right into yep. their brain. But we it's can't. like they're they're looking for something else, right? Like if, if I just get this piece, I'm not, I'm not comfortable with this product. Blah. Dude, a lot of times it's just a simple, simple switch, and it starts up here. Yep. Um, you were telling me about I called it a daily huddle. I don't know what, what you call it, but you 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 guys get together, you and your team. Yep. Every day, what Monday through Friday? Or Monday through Friday. Sometimes Saturday. Sometimes Saturday. Um, but yeah, mainly it's Monday. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. All on Zoom. Yep. What well, happened? we use Discord. So, Discord, okay. Because Discord is more manageable. Yeah. Um, but well, I like y'all, Discord. Y'all playing Fortnite over there or yeah, what? Yeah, you know it, man. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes we get bored. We play a little golf game. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> How did this start? <clears throat> um, so with remote, so there's this concept that I believe in. It's the quickest way for an agent to die is when they isolate themselves mm-hmm. when you're by yourself. Absolutely. 
but there's been times I wanted to drive off the road by myself. Yeah. But I would call my buddy. I'm like, hey man, how was your day? Oh, I just got ten apps and I didn't get anything. You know yeah. that fueled me. That fueled me. Like, oh yeah. And so that kept me going, right? Yeah. I needed a running buddy, um, and I didn't want to do this alone. So I needed to create accountability for myself. I know where I struggle. Mm -hmm. So my struggle is if I don't have a reason to show up necessarily to make these dials, I will find a reason not to make mm -hmm. these calls. But when I, cr when we created this system where I have to show up 8 a.m., not for me, but for other people, there's some, there's something that is triggered in our brains that we would do something for other people faster than we would do oh, it yeah. for ourselves. Right. So if, when I show up to a call for other people, it, it keeps me accountable. Mm -hmm. And my team knows that, and some maybe not, but they know that this call that I do every morning is more for me than it is for them. Right. But they think I'm training them. Right. Yeah. But it's more accountability for me to show up. Got it. So you create it for that. Yeah. So I can show up every day at eight, but obviously if you're training you got your team on, they're going to benefit from it as well. Right. Um, what happens on this call every day? We just talk, you know, different training sessions. I, I, I go over, um, different topics, yep. right? We, we touch on. It's almost like a Q and A. They, yeah, they can Q &A, ask questions. Yeah. Hey, how was your day yesterday? Yep. What you guys got going on? Uh, what was the good, bad news, good news? Did you get cussed out? Like what you struggling with? Yeah. Cause everybody's struggling with something, Sure. right? If they're telling you I'm not struggling, they're lying. Right. Okay. Everybody's struggling with something and that can be family things. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's a, it's an open, honest debate conversation. You can talk about anything. You know, if it kind of goes South, uh, I kind of, I know how to bring it back. Okay. Yeah. Let's table this. Let's, let's, let's go a different direction. But mainly I talk about the basics, right? I would say, all right, guys, this is how the business works every single day. You get contracted, you buy leads and you call them. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's all we do. Right. Right. Why do people struggle so much? It's all that other stuff in their head. Mm -hmm. Can you control your emotions? Can you keep moving when you get a charge back? Can you keep moving when somebody cuts you out? Can you keep moving when the school calls and you got to pick up the kids early and you have an appointment that day, yeah. right? Can you keep moving? Can you keep doing things? That's where agents quit. They get right. too emotional. Yeah. And 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 they, they think they're struggling. In the beginning, most agents start and they're they're focusing on the process mm -hmm. they're not so much about the emotions they're like can i figure out the process and then they do good right because they're focusing on the process and then they start focusing on their emotions and they get away from the process yeah. and then they are like what's wrong why am i struggling let's go back to the basics so my basics are you get contracted you buy leads and you make 150 phone calls a day can you be consistent for the next 90 days to do 150 phone calls a day? Right. 90 days. I don't care if it's Sunday or Monday. Can you do it for 90 days? So you're not worried about a sales goal. No. Hey, how many did no. you? It's just, can we make 150 calls a day? Because the rest of it's going to work itself out. You, you can knock out 150 phone calls in an hour and a half. Yeah, absolutely. All right. That's not the, that's not the, the thing here. Can you do it for 90 days without getting emotional? Mm. Right. Not many people can. No, I, you, you're you going to do it for four days. Right. Fifth day, you're like, man, I, it, it takes you an hour and a half. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yep, yep. But most of them are like, ah, I'm going to skip today. Mm. Right. The other problem is you're going to come across that I noticed is the the momentum that you're getting. Let's say you're a month into the 150. You're where you're going to struggle is you're going to get you're going to have 15 appointments that day and you uh, you won't hit your 150. So I get pissed off when I don't hit my 150, even though I got 15 appointments right. and I got six apps. Yeah, yeah. I'm still disappointed because I didn't hit my call. Right. Right. So I focus on the thing I can control versus focusing on getting apps because yeah. I can't control that. Correct. But you know, if there's enough activity, yeah. it, it's just squirrels going to find. Yeah. It. Dude, the right. funny thing, like attitude activity, we've been saying this for years. It even sounds cliche at this point. We had it on t shirt. Like it's, <laughs> but. They, those two things are still to me, the most important aspects of this business. And mainly because they're the two pieces that you have full control over. Like you said, there's not, you can't control, you can control what you buy for leads, but you can't control what leads you're buying. You mm -hmm. can't control who's on the other end, who filled it out. Maybe the person's too old. Maybe they're unhealthy. Maybe you can't control any of that, but you can control ac activity, $150 a day. Right. And then the attitude, the emotions, the 
am I going to go at this positive or am I going to go, I'm going to be negative. Am I going to go, here we go, make 150 calls again. I'm not going to get any appointments. Guess what? You're not getting any appointments. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird how that works, right? Yeah. I, I just focus on just getting it done. Mm. What, whatever happens, happens. If I make a sale, great. If I don't make a sale, great. Yeah. I just want my activity. And once I get my activity down, everything else works itself out. Somehow. Right. I don't know how, I don't know why. Talk to the guy upstairs. Yeah. Not me. I, I just, I just use the system, right. you know, and it works. But, um, there's one time makes me think about this. I was sharing this on the call this morning. Um, I was working this lead for two years, two years, Damn. 270 touches. So one touch is like a phone call. Okay. And we would, it was like 50 appointments later, right? This lady kept standing me up and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I want to do it. I want to do it. I'm like, ma'am, are you sure you want me to call you? <laughs> She's like, <laughs> yes, I'm just busy. Two years. Wow. 270 touches. I didn't feel it. Yeah. Because I just kept calling when it was time to call. You know, she would right. pop up on my list to call and I would call her. And we finally got her an application. Right. Um, mm -hmm. I never think about like, oh my gosh, I called this person X amount of time. I don't, the, 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 they were teaching us never write anything down on a piece of paper, how many times you call them. Cause it messes up mm -hmm. your head. Yeah. I looked at this lead as like a brand new, fresh lead. Yeah. Yep. Dude, that's so huge. I, I remember, like, I don't know, I don't know of an agent that started writing things on their leads from the beginning that had success. Mm -hmm. I, I, I remember telling them, that was one of the first things Sean said to me, don't, don't write anything on it. I'm like, do I take, nope, just put it back in the pile. <laughs> yeah. This was before CRMs and all that. We just printed out a stack of leads out there and went through them all. You put another the pile right yeah. back over, <laughs> went through them again, right? Like we had a little, you know, planner where we track our, our calls because we, mm -hmm. I did want to know how many calls I made versus appointments. Right. And even stuff like that, then you can, you, you can learn your numbers. You know, okay, if I make 150 calls, here's my averages. Right. If I do that. Typically I get whatever, 10 appointments. And then if I meet with 10 people or if I have 10 appointments, five are going to be there. Uh, my numbers say I'm going to help two of them. You know your numbers. Then it becomes a numbers game, right. not a guessing game. Mm -hmm. it, it's it's funny because even though it's a business that's a people business that you think could be unpredictable, once you learn your numbers, it's very it's predictable. It's very predictable. Yeah, when, when I look at my numbers and I'm down and my my activity was up, I'm like, the system owes me. It's coming. Yeah. It's coming. Oh, yeah. And then sure enough, dude, at the end of the week, I hit 10 Fs. Right. You know, it's like, yeah. Or that last appointment, yep. you know, where we're used to didn't want to go at 8 o'clock yep, at night. Right. Like 7 Fs. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we've all been there, dude. Yep. Yep. And you're like, they wanted an 8 p.m. appointment for a reason. Correct. You know what I'm saying? Yep. They don't just have anybody, so you better drive to that one. Yeah. There's been times I didn't want to go to it. Oh, and yeah. then sure enough, you come out five grand. You know? Yep. One of my best appointments, I was running up in um, Hartford, Connecticut, and there was a town called New Hartford. So I'm thinking, now as I'm dialing, I'm like, well, Hartford, New Hartford should be right there. Right? You know? <laughs> that, that would make sense. Like if I was building a, a, a state and I had Hartford, New Hartford would be close to yeah. it. You know, that's not what the people that, <laughs> um, you know, decided where the town lines in Connecticut fall. They didn't have that mentality. Yeah. So New Hartford was like an hour from Hartford. And this appointment, it was a later one. It was like 9 o'clock. And the guy was kind of an ass on the phone. Mm -hmm. I called him several times. It was, a, it was a mortgage lead, and it was a bigger mortgage than what we're used to. Mm -hmm. You know, it wasn't like your typical two, dollars $300,000 mortgage. So I'm like, you know, I got him to get the appointment. He told me he was all set over the phone. And I put exactly. it in my that's why I'm calling. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Same, yeah. Oh, dude, I was, yep, yeah, yeah, that's fine. So he's like, you can come out. Dude. I'm not going to buy anything. I'm like, okay, everyone says that. Um I finish up in Hartford. I had a bad day. I think I probably like one app or whatever. I put his address in a GPS and it's like an hour and 10 minutes. And I'm supposed to be there in like 10 minutes. I'm like, oh man. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go. Mm -hmm. Dude, I go. His driveway is like a mile long. So, like, I think I'm at the house, but now I'm driving down the driveway. Dude, I get there. Guy's like in his 50s, older guy, realize he don't have much life insurance. He's got some annuities and they're all variable and he's losing money left mm -hmm. and right. Mm -hmm. Dude, I, was, I was there for like an hour and a half. They had this bird that had a seizure mid appointment. Like, dude, it was just his wife was like on her third glass of wine. Like, it was just, <laughs> it was an interesting appointment. But, dude, I helped them out, and I probably I left that appointment with three apps: mm -hmm. the final expense app on him, one for his wife, 
and then a couple annuity apps for a decent amount of like I, I think he had a couple hundred thousand annuities. Yeah. And we moved them all over into safe products. Like yeah. but to your point, who you never know. And it's that la it's always those late ones, dude. You know, but it's uh like you said, the the business the system owed me. Yeah. Exactly. I was striking out all day and I'm like, dude, I got this last appointment, let me go. And then bam, made it all worth it. Yeah. And there's there's a lot of times where agents they're like, oh, I'm just going to call whenever, and they, they think that it's going to work out sometimes. And sometimes it might, where you're right. like, all right, you, you only made 10 calls, you got a couple apps. Yeah. That's not going to happen. No, That's outlier, not the norm, right? right? And when I have agents starting and they make sales their first week, and I'm like, oh, they're going to be gone. <laughs> yep. You know? Yeah. It's like they do really well. And I'm like, ah. Oh, that's yeah. not the norm, you know. Right, you almost want to hear like, yeah. yeah, I didn't close my first appointment. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I didn't. My yeah. first app I wrote, I wrote a I, I was going to write forcers, but I actually wrote it on a mutual Omaha paper app. <laughs> 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 I didn't know the difference. They and didn't I accept sent it? it to Forrester. <laughs> They're like, "What is this?" Yeah, what do we do with this? <laughs> that's hysterical. <laughs> Hey, I don't care. Making mistakes is where right. you learn. Hey, move fast and break things. Dude. It's, it's been our mentality since we started this company. And they, the thing, yeah, that's kind of what they told me. Hey, break it. Yeah, we can fix it. Like right. you can't break it that bad Correct. where we can't fix it. Right. I'm like, so I take that over the guy going. I can't go into the house because I don't have the right applications. Uh, yeah. like, dude, just go learn something, figure it out, and make a mess. I, I'm good at breaking things. Yeah. That's, that's, I'm probably got a PhD in breaking things. That's why he's done well here, you know? <laughs> um, so you, you did your, your huddle this morning as well. Yeah. So you, even though you flew up here from Tennessee, right, you came here a couple hours ago to do some training, but you still got your huddling with the team. I did. I did. I was a little bit late. I yeah. usually have some leaders take over, and, and yeah. I'm like, hey, can you do this? Um, but I was able to jump in. We had some new writers yeah. that I want to congratulate on there and stuff like that. Um, and, uh, yeah, I just, I just like to give credit where it's due and, and train and, and I don't know, it's just, I feel weird now when I don't get on those calls. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. It just, it just feels like something's missing. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, dude, I'm a big fan of everything you're doing. Keep kicking ass, keep growing. I really appreciate you coming up doing this. Um, guys, if you've not checked out Elvira's true talk, check that out. If you've not subscribed to our channel, well, like, how could they not subscribe to this shit? You you were watching us. You weren't even with us. Oh, you know? no. Oh. Like, God. So this is a good info. It is. With the deep voice. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> what it is. Yeah, if that, just listen to the voice, you know? But but I appreciate you coming up, dude. I really do. Um, guys, subscribe to this. Check out some of our past TNLs. You know where to find us every week on the next level. Peace.